name is Yulia Zisko. I'm a violinist with the New York Philharmonic. And today I am making my first debut as a chef. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I will be cooking for you today. In honor of Mahler's Festival, which New York Philharmonic is hosting online this week, uh, I will be attempting to cook Wiener Schnitzel. And even though we cook a lot in this kitchen, I have never done this dish before. And it is a courtesy of the Café de Neue Gallery, uh, the famous museum in New York, for those of you who are watching from out of town, uh, which has a wonderful collection of German and Austrian art and a fantastic restaurant downstairs. Um, so this is a Wiener Schnitzel. That is the recipe provided by the Neue Gallery. They were collaborating on this project with the New York Philharmonic together, and I'm gonna attempt to recreate it. So uh, we have turned on Mahler's Seventh Symphony to keep us company during this cooking time. Uh, considering the situation, I couldn't find the right cut of veal, unfortunately, but I got veal chops and they look good. So hopefully the recipe will work out. I have uh, two sous chefs who might run in and out. Here's one, <laughs> Ariana D and Joe D. I need to introduce the cameraman also. Please welcome Max D behind the scenes. Now, I'm gonna have to start with tenderizing this meat. This is feeling weirdly satisfying. So I'm gonna be doing it for a while. So now I have to season them with salt and pepper. I love these little gadgets. They make this job much faster. So next we have to mix the egg and heavy cream and my sous chef is going to do just that. Hold on, we're adding the heavy cream. And off she goes. Well now I'm putting some oil into the pan and heat it up and the process will start shortly. So now I'm supposed to dip this into an oil. This is parsley. I'm supposed to dip it in a strainer, in the strainer, into an oil. I don't own a strainer this small, so I'm gonna improvise. I have this little spoon with holes on the bottom, so hopefully that will work. And I'm gonna do it this way and see what happens. It's only 10 seconds, so if I don't burn myself, maybe I'll succeed. Okay, I think I actually managed to succeed with this. So proud of myself. Here I go, and I'm gonna do another batch. And now for the fun part, we are gonna dip the veal first in the flour, then in the egg and cream mixture, and then into the breadcrumbs. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it in this oily skillet and not think about 5,000 calories per bite and hope it's not gonna splash me with oil in return. Oh, I have to add butter for it too. Okay, so here goes the first piece. Not ideal, unfortunately, since I couldn't find the cutlets, but the chops are supposed to do. I took the bones out. I'm sure it'll taste great. Hopefully. And here goes the egg mixture. Okay, and now, yuck. How appropriate for Mother 7. And now go the breadcrumbs. I love eating this dish every time I'm, the, I'm in Vienna. It's always special. I have my special places that I like to go to and eat it. And I miss Europe tremendously. And I'm very sad that we're not going on tour just less than a week from today. But things have turned to an unfortunate situation. And here it is. Wow. Okay, I just turned it over, the first one. And uh, I let it cook for another minute. And... Uh, we will see what happens. Okay, so my second sous chef, Jody, is gonna help me take this off the skillet and onto this paper towel so that I guess the pet can drench out. And I'm going to repeat the process and see what comes out. 
for the last cutlet, the, the cameraman decided to become a sous chef. So he is going to do the last cutlet for us. So first in the flour. And then in the egg really, really well. And then in the crumbs. And now comes the fun. Very careful with the oil, please. Oy. Lots of cleaning to do afterwards. Good job, sous chef Max. Yay. Excellent. Okay, the last clip. This looks good. This will be pretty cool to try what it tastes like. But meanwhile, I also read in this recipe that this should be served with the potato cucumber candy salad. Uh, I didn't have the recipe, but I found it online and I made it because, hey, we have to have Austrian dinner the proper way, right? So that was another little dish that I made. Bon appetit! Enjoy your food! So this is our finished product. It looks amazing. We can't wait to try it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our little cooking party. Uh, we miss everyone. We miss our live audience. We hope we can come back to you as soon as possible and perform for you and make music together. I miss my colleagues tremendously. Uh, let's get over this and let's get well. Hopefully it's all upward from this moment on. Greetings from the Ziskel Denison household. And thank you for watching the Yulia Child Show. Thank you.